Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. The content that I'm showing you right now, I know is off of our normal time of release, but this is breaking news. A U.S. court judge has ruled the SAPO movement in Missouri as unconstitutional. This has ramifications across the board. Everything's going to be linked if you want to find out more. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one and send this one out because this is big beyond just our gun rights. And if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn the notification bell on. We need as many of you as possible to get in the fold to help pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And thank you for your consideration. Now, the content today is brought to you by SDI, and I know a lot of you out there like to upgrade and modify your own guns. And if you're looking to turn a hobby into a career, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. Their online programs cover everything from ballistics, online armoring, uh, woodworking finishes, shooting sports management, and more, plus all the tools and materials are shipped directly to your door. There's never been a better time to turn that hobby into a career, so what are you waiting for? There's a link in the description box below, and thank you so much to SCI for making this content possible. But my brothers and sisters, as I mentioned in the introduction, this is something that I have to rush out because it came out about 35 minutes ago as of the filming of this video. So what we're talking about is the Second Amendment Protection Act or Preservation Act. This is the Missouri law that basically said federal laws are nullified inside the state limits of Missouri. And if a state representative from law enforcement works with a federal representative, there's a tremendous fine and it basically discourages any type of federal gun law from infringing against Missourians. That's the important piece. That's the whole thing. This is essentially a sanctuary state for the Second Amendment. That's important, the sanctuary, sanctuary state section for immigration. We're going to come to that in a second, but gun rights may have just given the immigration movement the strongest boost they ever could have gotten. Check this out. U.S. judge rules Missouri state gun law unconstitutional. So for the gun rights activists in Missouri, this is a loss on its face. But again, on the broader spectrum, this is a win in a lot of different areas on the constitutionality aspect. Now, there's a lot of nuance here, but let me just show you what time this came out. This came out on 12.03 p.m. Eastern Time. That's within an hour of the filming of this video. Washington, Reuters. A federal judge on Tuesday ruled that a Missouri state law which aimed to invalidate many federal gun regulations is unconstitutional, handing the U.S. Justice Department a victory in its bid to get the new law invalidated. Now, take this in a different light, okay? If you've got immigration over here in all sorts of sanctuary cities and states, this applies to them as well. That's awkward. Also, this uh, similarly applies to things like registries on a state level that are against federal law for gun rights. It applies to any type of bans that would be in conflict with federal law. This is a really big deal beyond just the fact that the SAPA has been ruled unconstitutional. This has ramifications in gun rights in uh, blue cities and states, big ones there. There's ramifications to immigration in sanctuary cities and states in the other parts of the country. This is much bigger than just gun rights, and the fight that we are fighting is having tremendous ripple effects. But let's keep going because this, this is interesting how this is shaking out. In a 24-page opinion, U.S. District Judge Brian Wilms for the Western District of Missouri wrote that the state's Second Amendment Preservation Act, SAPA, also known as HB 85, violates the supremacy clause of the U.S. Constitution, a doctrine which holds that federal laws take priority over conflicting state laws. Quote, SAPA's practical effects are counterintuitive to its stated purpose, Wimes wrote. Now, this is the important piece. I'm by no means pleased with the fact that the SAPA is now ruled unconstitutional in this phase of the litigation. However, the ramifications that this ruling has against states on gun right infringements, on gun control um, approaches, on all sorts of different aspects is massive. Not to mention zooming out again to sanctuary cities and sanctuary states on the immigration front. This is a big deal and it's probably going to be appealed to the next level, but this has ramifications beyond just what you and I usually talk about. And I got one more thing for you because this is another quote from the same ruling. Quote, 
While purporting to protect citizens, SAPA exposes citizens to greater harm by interfering with the federal government's ability to enforce lawfully enacted firearms regulations designed by Congress for the purpose of protecting citizens. Take out that firearm word and put that immigration word in there. Take out that firearm word and say registry in different states. This is a loss for Missouri, but this might actually be a win across the board in many different areas that are probably pretty important to most people watching this right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did I land this plane? And I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden, signing out.